Hello and welcome back to another segment of Community Lens. I am in the studio with one of my favorites, <laughs> Courtney O'Keefe. Hello, Courtney. Hello, Erica. How are you? Oh, better now <laughs> that you're in here. <laughs> um, Courtney is the executive director of Somerville Local First and also just a person about town. I'm sure you've seen Courtney out and about at some of her favorite places, including <laughs> one of my favorite places, Old Magoon Saloon. Shut and up. Daddy Jones Bar, Absolutely. equally equal love exchange across the street. Um, but Courtney is an awesome asset here in Somerville, and we're going to find out more about what she's been up to and also some real local first. And you can hopefully get out there and get involved and check out their awesome events. Yes. So let's dive in. Yes. What is Summer Roll Local First? For those who don't know, obviously we're biased in the room, but yes, what, is, what is the elevator pitch for Summer Roll Local First? So Summer Roll Local First is um, a business support organization for locally owned independent businesses. Uh, we also support artists and nonprofits as well, mm -hmm. uh, including the Somerville Media Center. And um, we really promote and preach the gospel of shifting your shopping locally. Mm -hmm. uh, those small mom and pop shops, those small restaurants um, where local people hang out, local people are hired, mm -hmm. uh, local people own. And uh, the community around loving local places is so prominent mm -hmm. in the city of Somerville and I you know that's really a reason why so many businesses want to open up here um, businesses want to be here is because it's just in our DNA to mm -hmm. love our locally owned places. Yeah super supportive environment mm -hmm. I can definitely um, test to that um, but how many members are part of Somerville Local First? So Somerville Local First collectively has close to 100 members. Wow. Uh, we have a lot of artists we have businesses restaurants um, I like to say everything from soup to Q's nuts because Q's <laughs> nuts is one of our members. And then, um, thank you. And then we also um, we also support our nonprofits. Um, some of our faves are Second Chances, um, the Boys and Girls Club of Medford and Somerville, some of our Media Center. Um, just supporting those nonprofits that do really amazing work for those people that are really in need in our community. Awesome. And what are some of the types of like programs or signature events that SLF uh, puts on? Um, this year, we've really expanded our programming after um, establishing a really wonderful relationship with Work Bar Union. Great. Um, and that's right in Union Square here. Yep. And um, we were inspired to do that because Work Bar Cambridge has a wonderful relationship with Cambridge Local First. Awesome. And so over there, we were able to have uh, an artist meet and greet in June. And we had a candidate meet and greet in September. Mm -hmm. It was a little hot in the room. The air conditioning broke <laughs> the morning of. Um, that event was Oof. catered by D Daddy Jones Bar and Old Magoon Saloon Wicked Wines. But the content itself was. It was. was really we great. were at capacity. I will say that. Good. No, without admitting, we were probably a little oh, over oh. capacity. Oh, the, the fire, fire people are watching. <laughs> Love the fire department, but um, I think that that really established a need in the city of Somerville. I know yesterday you guys had the mayoral debate, so right. things are really kind of hopping around yeah. here, and, and those those types of events are, are a way that Somerville Local First can kind of keep people informed and yeah. do it on our own terms. and Creating the spaces to invite the absolutely. community to engage in like dialogue or just awareness. Absolutely, yeah. and we had every single candidate for every single um, contested race in the city except for one and I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud that our candidates came together and, and, and kudos to the candidates who all came out absolutely. For that, for that really important event. You know that event was the focus was on the voters and not necessarily right. the candidates. We didn't do a question and answer. We didn't do a debate. It was nothing. It was really just some FaceTime. Just some FaceTime with yeah. them. And then uh, going forward we have um, one of our former members who is going to do a social media class at Work Bar. We have one of our board members, Andy Pyman, that's going to be doing a awesome. WordPress class through the Somerville Media Center. In early December. Information's on the, on the screen. Absolutely. And um, at the end of the year, I think we'll do an end of the year um, kind of closing out. And then be on the lookout 
next year because it is the 10 year anniversary of Somerville Local First. Yay. So we could be uh, could be rocking that oh, out. Oh, fun. Well, yeah. we'll definitely be there and collaborating some some sort of capacity. By all so, means. But yeah. the, the event that I wanted to talk about today yes. is our really, really popular holiday marketplace that one will be one of the be signature, one of the signature yes. events. Uh, one of our board members, Jennifer Lawrence, started uh, these markets years ago and um, it has been only growing mm -hmm. and only expanding and it's one of those things that that we do to really showcase our artists makers and shakers here in um, here in Somerville right. and in a little bit beyond mm -hmm. too um, it's going to be on Sunday November 26th from 11 o'clock until 5 o'clock p.m. at another one of our favorite nonprofits the Arts at the Armory Yay. Um, this event features over 40 vendors um, everything from clothes to food to art to jewelry yep. to home goods. Uh, we really try to make the mix as eclectic as mm -hmm. we possibly can. Mm -hmm. And our two market coordinators, Heidi and Marta, um, oh. really set up. Shout out to those folks. And uh, let me tell you, they yeah, make my job ten times easier. It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Um, but our our vendors absolutely um, love it. Um, I'm a logistical person. I love talking logistics. We had last year well over 1,000 people come through awesome. the market. That's great. Um, we have, on average, our vendors will take home um, in profits between $500 and $1,000. That's fantastic. You know? That's fantastic. And um, the last thing that I'm really proud of is that the cost to be a vendor there is very low. Mm -hmm. um, so accessibility. Accessibility, affordability, you know, when you have affordability, you have accessibility. Right. And to, to do that for our um, up and coming makers and shakers and artists and creators is um, something that I'm proud of. Cool. That, that my organization gets to do. Absolutely, and as you should be an amplifier of that. Are there going to be breweries there um, this year? We will not have any breweries there because the Arts at the Armory Cafe has a wonderful mix of local brewers, local coffee, amazing food. Boom. So that will be open during the event from 11 until 5 o'clock. Nobody judges you if you walk in <laughs> with a glass at, right at 11 a.m. No. Nobody talks what happens at the armory, we'll stays at the armory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, especially if you're if you have like, you know, one of those local <laughs> local sips. Um, we don't say we don't say a word. Uh, um, the armory has awesome sandwiches and salads mm -hmm. and just like a really awesome space where they also open up their space for in some cases free events for nonprofits as long as the event is free. Um, but there's also, you know, there's also affordable um, rentals that they that they host there, just for folks who are curious. But. Yeah, and just on that point, this event is free. Um, mm -hmm. There's no there's no admission. We do ask for a little bit of a donation if you want to, but mm -hmm. other than that, it's a free event. Please come through. It's a kid friendly event. Um, bring the kids, walk through, check out our vendors, check out some of the most uh, unique gifts, cool. and at the end of the day, get. You know, get a handle on your uh, shopping list. Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> the it's, holidays it's, sneak yeah. up on you. It's, it's happening, folks. It's yeah. happening. It's happening quick. Um, so hashtag support local. Yes, all the time. Um, shift your shopping when you can. Yes, yeah, shift your shopping. Um, and we'll have Courtney back in the studio to talk about some of the other stuff they have coming up, like in February. Mm -hmm. Right, you Absolutely. guys are doing. Yeah, um, another market. Right, it's just more market markets galore. So. Courtney, uh, for more information, people to get um, other updated info, go to your website, which is? Absolutely, www.summervillelocalfirst.org. It's brand new. Um, you can get in touch with me, Courtney, at summervillelocalfirst.org if you have any questions. If you're interested in becoming a vendor at a future market, we have the vendor application right on the website. And um, if you uh, have a local business and you have questions and you have needs, we help with everything from marketing and um, all the way to helping you through the, the permitting process. Cool. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we're very excited. All right, on that note, high fives. Yeah. And uh, check them out uh, November 26th, Arts of the Armory. 11 to 5. 11 to 5. Be there, support local, let your neighbors know, and we'll see you soon.